Hi, this is Dave Kettlewell, the host of mastersofharmonica.com, and this particular video deals exclusively with the topic of hand vibrato. And, you know, whether we're talking about Larry Adler or people like Robert Bonfilio or many of the wonderful players in Asia, they use a lot of hand vibrato. And there's kind of a lot of reasons, I think, why it is utilized as much as it is. First of all, it does not take the note flat and then bring it back. So it's got the same pitch, which if you're playing with an orchestra with, you know, woodwinds and brass and different things or, a, you know, something like that or a symphony, if somebody's off pitch, it really is super noticeable and they don't really like that a lot of times unless it was written that way by the composer. So you'll find hand vibrato used quite a bit there. It's also used in all forms, a lot of different forms of folk music on the harmonica. I like it because I think it's easy and it's fun and it's, it's pretty cool. Now, the first thing that I told you is that, you know, you take your hands and you kind of hold them like this, okay? Then you take and put them around the harmonica and you'll see that my palms are kind of touching towards the back of the cover a little bit. And then what happens is, is the hands are used like a gate, okay? But you can see that the gate, I'm not opening it up like, you know, which is another dramatic form. I'm really kind of opening up the hole at the back here created by the hands just a little bit. The hole that I'm creating with the hands at the back is only half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And the reason is that that's where you get the tonal change in the note principally. And the rest of the movement doesn't really do much. And I'll show you that. That was moving them a little. Well, watch what happens with a lot. From here on, it's about the same sound. So most of the time you're, you know, you can do a little, little less is more, I guess, is our lesson there is you don't have to do as much. Now it's interesting that in Asia, they teach two types of hand vibrato. One is the hand moving up either the whole palm or just the fingers. And they also believe and teach one that's going down. Um, we're not really approaching it that way, but I thought you might be interested in knowing it. So again, it's the use of hands. And why does this work? Well, if you think of your hands as bags of water with bones in them, they absorb sound and block sound. So it kind of creates a note that starts off pretty bright and then it gets darker. But what's changing is the tone color. So what's making the rhythm is the tone color, okay? So I'd say the first thing I want you to do is to take and put your hands around the instrument. You see my thumb's kind of at the bottom. My hand is here. And then I'm gonna bring the other one I'm going to bring it right in like this, bring the, the hands together. Now, this will not feel normal to you in the very beginning, but thinking of a prayer is a good way, but it's tilted, you'll see, because we have to play the harmonica this way, not this way, so the hands kind of have to go that way, and if your shoulder comes up, that's okay if you want to do that. Okay, so our first exercise is just to hold that instrument, so put it down, pick it up in your hand again, and go into the position, and this is what most people do. Okay, they're going to do this type of a cup. I want you to have your hands more flat this way. And the reason is you've got a, a larger hole for that sound to get out of as you move on the register because we have notes over here and notes over here. Okay, so we're going to kind of hold the hands like this. And I think the first thing we're going to do, and I, you know, I, and you might say to me, well, what am I going to do when I got to use the slide? And I'm going to have to actually get a sharp or a flat. You can just bring this, this finger around like that and pick it up with your index fingers is one way. The other way is that, you know, you can sometimes, if you're playing up here, you can use your thumb a little bit if you're using your left hand to open and close, but you can work the slide. So here's our first playing exercise. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do four pulses, okay, that are under control. Now you'll notice that the pace was quite slow. Da, 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 da. It wasn't. Which is weird, 
Okay, I don't know musically how many times you can use that in anything other than like an Argentinian folk piece. But on the slower, you want to kind of get in the, in the skill set of being able to do this slower. Well, let's try it on a low note, lower note. Higher. Now, one of the things is, when you're doing vibrato, you're not just managing your hands, you also are managing your breath. And don't forget that we play notes in the registers a little differently. What do I mean by that? When you're playing a low note on your harmonica, you want to open your throat so there's a big air channel, direct air. The ones in the middle of the harmonica, they're never a problem. And the ones that are up high, to get them to play well, you want to constrict the air channel a little bit by bringing your tongue a little closer to the roof of your mouth to, to direct that airflow. To provide focused air. So you do play these notes a little bit differently. So we have to do that at the same time that we're doing vibrato. Now, a lot of people, sometimes when they're doing this, they'll actually move their elbows Because some people it hurts their hands to do this and you may be one of those people and so if it's more comfortable for you instead of trying to get the hands to move go ahead and move the elbows a little bit and early on you might be more comfortable and more comfortable is good if you can get the same sound the same sound that you like a different way do that now one thing that you, you want to learn as you start playing with things like vibrato is that you have to decide how much to use. Sh should you use a lot of vibrato or a little bit? Should you use it all the time? Like all artistic effects with harmonica and other instruments, anything done all the time will get boring to the audience. Variation is a huge part of what we do in music. Variation. It is a fundamental musical value. Variation. As is rhythm. So on a particular note, I'm going to just play it a couple ways for you. That's no vibrato. Very slow. Now I'm going to put them all together. None. Slow and then fast, or maybe none, fast, slow. And you see that I changed the pace and really got slow in the rhythm of that note. And so again, with vibrato now, you're crafting music within one musical note. And that's the magic of it. So, this is hand vibrato. Now our next topic, which is lip vibrato, which I'd say a lot of players do not know this form of vibrato, but it is a wonderful one because it's very comfortable and it's pretty easy and it sounds great. So what is the general 